love to train. I love to learn. I love to get better. Uh, try little, you know, try stuff out. Moxley as well, and just killing it right now. Oh. Like I said, what would you say? Mox, Mox might be my favorite person to watch in pro wrestling right now. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, Brian in my book, Brian Danielson is the greatest. Prof- you know, people say like John Hotch is one of the greatest ever. You know, Jared goes to go, and we say all this. You know, just for my money, in my opinion. The greatest professional wrestler to ever live, to ever do it, in the ring, is Brian Daniels. Uh, so, it, in, it, and it's funny because, like, uh, I like the way he, especially the way that he's wrestling right now. At first, I was thinking like that he just wrestles so wild, and then, and then it just no, he's not wrestling wild. He's almost wrestling like he's feral, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's this feral animal that just <laughs> goes out there and chaos happens wherever he goes. And it's crazy because he's my partner. I get to like tag team with him, you know? And also he's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. Like my legit, like on my top list of like two or three, four, whatever. Like he's in that group of like, oh, my favorite wrestlers to watch ever. And it's really fun to be out there when it happens. Yeah, and you guys have always had great chemistry too, but it's just something about the team. I mean, and the match you guys have a revolution against each other was great as well, but like just as a team, it's a different sort of chemistry. Like, have you noticed the, there, there's got to be a major difference there, right? Between the matches you guys have had as a team and as opponents in the last two months compared to the matches you guys were having even eight, nine, 10, 15 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think, um, you know, I don't know. I think we're, we're, very different styles of wrestlers and it's almost like there's two different there's like my one of my favorite wrestlers to watch brian danielson who's like right up there with my all-time favorites like Bret Hart and stuff and then there's like brian my friend who's like all eco-friendly and shit you know <laughs> and you know he's like a good father and all this and you know we have similar interests with so and whatever that's almost like two separate people and sometimes i gotta like pinch myself out there like i get to team with one of my favorite wrestlers, like, all of all time. It's pretty cool, man. So, I mean, if there's ever a guy that's going to push you and make you better, and, like, you can't slack off when you're teaming with a guy that good, because, you know, you got to... It pushes me. I want to, like, be like, oh, I, I can keep up with Brian. And, you know, I'm pretty good, too, sometimes, you know. Like, so I, it makes me want to push myself. And then, but they complement each other in really in really good ways. And I also think, you know, our mindset on wrestling is very similar, right? Like my partner, Brian Danielson, put this much better than me. He's like, you know, the feeling that, you know, I think we're wired similarly in that, like, the feeling he's always chasing is, like, that feeling of being in the ring. The feeling of wrestling, to me, it's like you feel it, you just feel it inside. Right. Absolute pleasure of just being dialed in to doing like what you were here to do. Like, like the improv of wrestling sometimes, and sometimes you don't know what you're gonna do until you get there, until you're in a specific situation, or until you're like on a flight of stairs fighting somebody, and you'd be like, "Oh, I could do this." I don't know. It just really makes you feel alive, right? 